Welcome back, everyone, to Mummy's Mask. That's the campaign we're playing, right? Mummy's Mask. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. You guys are here for that, right? Or are we playing? Yeah. Uh, are we playing Gatewalkers oh, today? <laughs> yeah. Mummy's yeah. Mask. Fantastic. <laughs> well, in our last session, our group of adventurers returned to Wati, triumphant from their explorations of the House of Pentheru heading back to the Grand Mausoleum to hand in your findings, get the rewards that come with them, and receive the third and final locale that you can go explore. Learning that uh, you are the first group to finish their second location, and after speaking with some of the other adventurers, learning that most of these groups have budgeted somewhere in the realm of a week, uh, seven to ten days, realistically, to explore all three of their locations. And you guys are entering your third location on day four. Pretty ahead of the curve. On your way to the third location you have been granted, some sort of abandoned temple by what you had been informed, you were waylaid by a group of thugs as well as some local ghouls who had apparently been hired by who you realized Velviana Hypaxis to be leader of the Scorched Hand Adventurers to prevent anyone from exploring the large building ahead, which you gather to be the very location to which you all are heading. After taking down three of the thugs and the two ghouls with the fourth and final thug fleeing, you manage to catch up to him pretty easily, scare him into surrendering, sharing what he knew, and then deciding we're dragging him along. Hi, Tim. You're our butler now. Where that'll go? Will Tim survive? Find out today. And through the rest of the campaign, I don't know. That's optimistic of you. Yeah, it, the game is now not explore funny tombs. It's the GM tries to kill Tim. Everyone has to stop me. Well, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Every Best strike against Tim is not a strike against us. <laughs> it's true. And it has been mentioned that Tim has like 30 hit points, so he's got more hit points than I do. No, he has 15 hit points. You just would oh. need to deal 30 to instantly kill him. Oh, oh, we're not talking about unconscious. We're talking to instant no. death. Okay. If Never mind. If you adopted him, he gets death saves. Oh, that's so sweet. Until I decide I don't want him to take them anymore. <laughs> it's very arbitrary. <laughs> Depends on my mood. Sounds about right. <laughs> We have no choice but to accept this. <laughs> I take bribery in the form of hero points. <laughs> no, no. It's all a game of how much do you care? Oh, no. Just think of it this way. If one of your characters dies, you can just pick up playing as Tim. Ooh. He's the pre-built backup character. Would he be like a ruffian rogue? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's the great thing. You guys will get to decide what level he takes. You can, uh... What's the right term? Uh, raise him, I suppose, in whatever direction you would like. You want to teach him magic? Go for it. You want him to just be a rogue? Not learn anything? That's fine, too. Fling curses at them until one of them sticks. They can be an oracle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. So, it is currently about 10.30 in the morning as you guys are finishing up your initial conversation with Tim. And that's Tim with a Y for anyone wondering. Uh, T-Y-M. What's the plan? Are you still heading towards the temple? Um, that sounds like someone might already be there. 
I, yes. Yeah, I think we need to go head that off, right? Yeah, they're stealing our stuff. There's, yeah, I feel like we need to go right some wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling very paladin-y today. <laughs> New champion coming soon in Player Core 2. <laughs> right, right, maybe. <laughs> you know, but willing to, to bend when the mood strikes me, so maybe not. <laughs> oh, they have the perfect Move. ability for real. Yeah, there you go. Be like, ah! Move, strike, raise shield for two actions. That's there right, that's right. That, that's me. Uh, I, I really do enjoy that Envoy, though, for Starfinder. Yes. All right, so heading off to the temple it is. What exploration yes, actions is everyone taking? Uh, defend. Uh, yep. I think I'm going to stick with detect magic in case we do pass something important. Oh. Search. <laughs> Tried sneaking last time. Didn't work. <laughs> Not super well, unfortunately. Okay. So you see and Nick kept so searching. We are defending. Shay, you are detecting the magic. Good, 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 good. All right. As you head a few blocks further down the road, making your way towards the building itself, the building is relatively large. Uh, some sort of large sandstone construction. The central nave of it looks to be symmetrical, but as you approach, the rest of the building doesn't really conform to the more traditional architecture you see in the surroundings. It has wings and extensions that appear to have been more haphazard additions from what you can see. There's a large dome over the apse uh, topping the roof at the northern end of the temple. And from what you can see as you approach, the building has no windows. The exterior walls are carved with multiple different divinities on uh, all of its facades. And the looks to be maybe about 15 to 20 feet tall as a building. As you approach the entrance, you find that no doors block it. There's a wide flight of steps leading directly up to the temple's interior with two humanoid statues flanking the stairs, wearing black and white masks holding quarter staves. You can see just past the entryway are two rows of columns leading toward an archway in the northern wall with smaller passages opening up to the east and west. As you approach Yasir, you also see movement coming from within. You hear the clacking of what some people might just imagine to be like heels on a hard stone surface. You recognize more so as bone. And not just one bone, but multitudes of them. You see what appear to be skeletal hounds patrolling around the interior chamber of the building as you approach. They don't seem to have noticed you, or perhaps don't care about your presence, since you have yet to step foot on the stairs or up into the building as a whole. But you have arrived at the temple. Perhaps we go a bit quiet, there are skeletons of dog. Do you, do you know what, uh, what kind of temple this is? Do you recognize the 
the statue. It's time to recall some knowledge here. Yeah, absolutely. I might try that as well, if that's okay. Go for it. It's really funny, because if I'm going off of the DCs, technically you all failed. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> But we don't know. It being one of the core deities of Galarian's pantheon and having significant importance to Assyrian's history, it is easy enough to recognize the masked figure as Nethys, the god of magic. Ah. Uh, okay. Any further information, you got nothing but you are at the very least able to recognize the black and white mask that the statue wears, the staff being the favored weapon of Nethys. Um, I, I bought uh, one bottle of bottled sunlight. If we can draw them all together, we could do some damage all at once to them. Or I could save that for a more significant enemy. But I feel like they're going to rush us. I do agree with that. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> Ren could fly above and see if maybe they, they chase her back and I won't put her within reach, but we, we could try that and you know, they circle, and it depends how smart they are. They don't look very smart. They're bones. And yeah. they and make creatures usually aren't. Yeah, I... We're, I mean, I... I can step to the right and draw them to me and just focus on defending while enough of them gather to throw the... Uh, There's Tim. The sunlight. Poor Tim. He should be way over here, hiding. Sorry, let me, uh, there, now you can hover and see his name. Yeah, there's Tim. There's Go Tim. over here, Tim. You want you want Tim it's... over here? Yeah, we'll sit in the corner. Away. Yeah, sit in the corner, Tim. Um, you fear or Decapto, any thoughts, <laughs> things you'd like to do differently? Maybe circle the building, make sure there's no... Do a circle there. first. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'm gonna walk down here, up down this side of the building. Sure. I'll keep an eye on... I'll we'll keep an eye on Tim. Stay there, Tim. Doorway. It's just a little diamond. Okay. <laughs> uh, again, the construction of this building is very much sort of haphazard on all the side wings. They all kind of look slapped on more than anything else. question why there's some areas with no dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> just the way it is. Yeah. There there are some points where you can just get close to the building and fall into the infinite void here. That seems fair. There's no way in. Okay. So front it is. Um I'll move first and draw them to me. I'll, I'm gonna feed the copet and draw the bottled sunlight. Okay. Uh, raise my shield and move on to the step. Okay. Then I think I am going to ask you all to roll initiative for me.
as you step forward, your shield raised, the bottled sunlight ready to go. You know it's harmful to undead. You see a bunch of them right in front of you, and you are fully prepared to just throw it when they uh, sort of start to surround you, potentially. Yep. yep. Um, Try to get as many of them in the life as we can. Yeah. Uh, they do not react to you stepping onto the stairs. Uh, Nicapso, theoretically, you would be the first to go now. You are welcome to just delay, hold an action, or if you would like to actually do something, you're more than welcome to. But none of them appear to have really reacted to Rialt taking the first few steps up the staircase. Okay, um... Fast. <laughs> As you step into the building and immediately kind of back down a few steps, the moment your foot crossed the threshold, all of the heads of these dogs turned in your direction and their eye sockets began to glow ever so slightly growling resounding out from their non-existent vocal cords okay and then uh, I will target that one and dance okay Absolutely a success. Nice. Panache, that's two actions. And then, uh... Sure, I'll throw a shock room at one of them. Why not? One I'm already targeting, I think. Unless this is a very steep staircase. No. That's a crit. Oh, nice. Exactly <laughs> a crit, I should specify. Precise strike should be on. All right, 10 nice. points of slashing damage. Now, they are skeletons, so yep. as you've come across before, they do have some solid resistance to slashing damage. No immunity to piercing, though, and even just with them resisting a chunk of what you deal, it still breaks a number of the bones constructing this jackal, and it almost collapses immediately. It's my turn, then. All right, that is going to bring us to a few of them. And now that you have entered the building and attacked them, they are absolutely going to attack back. So we'll start with this one that is going to come rushing to here with one action and is going to make a bite against you, Rialt, with its okay. first attack. Which is going to hit. I will block. Sure. As it deals five damage to you, you can easily block the entirety of that amount. No block right there. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Uh, the block is a little tall, so you hit block and then hit damage. I'll give a, uh, oh, got it. Okay. Just like that. Cool. Thank you. Of course. And any damage that would go above the shield's hardness would then act, it auto applies it to both your health and the shield's hit points. Okay. So. Thank you. Yeah. It's final attack as it bites down on you and you just put the shield in the way. It is going to then pivot and try and bite into you, Nikepso. Which is also going to hit. 
for three piercing damage. And that's going to bring us to one more of these jackals with Shay on deck. This one is going to use its entire 35 foot move speed with a single action to also go bounding up. And its first attack is going to be against you, Rialt. Basically, same thing it just did. All right. Yep. Six points okay. of piercing damage this time, though. Got it. And it is going to maintain the offensive on you, just trying to bite past your shield into your exposed flesh. Okay. Second attack, nowhere near enough, though. And Shay, that brings us to you. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to, I guess, shoot one of these things with some needles? Why not? Um, yeah. I do think uh, if you're shooting from there, uh, which everyone you target is probably going to have cover... If you wanted to move, like, here, or even here, would give no cover against the one closest. Okay. Because uh, yeah, the I'll statue's move. kind of in the way. Okay. Yeah, that'll use an action to move over here, and right. then go over to... I'll get this one here, then. Sure. All right, and then got some darts with needles on them. <laughs> uh, I, should get some, I should get some other types of needles. That's a nat 20. Very nice. Oh. Oh, nice. Whew. All right, I can deal with that. Now, unfortunately, they're not going to take the bleed damage. Yeah, which is sad the first time I would roll it. <laughs> I um, know. All right. But they will take double the piercing damage. I can take that. And even with their resistance to piercing, that is far too much for that one to handle. And just with a few quick darts, you are going to shatter the skeleton of this da uh, dog. Oh. I... All right, that's one. It, and that's it, me. Uh, it's like you sewing machine, Tim. <laughs> I'm going to move the corpse. my first kill the campaign. Let's go. <laughs> As you have opened up the space for this one to get here, it is going to attack into Nekepso with its first bite uh, for three damage. And it is going to maintain the offensive on you. Missing its second strike. Very badly. Yasir, that brings us to you. Just vitality lash on it. All right. And that is a failure. And 10 points of damage is. Oop, did not mean to hit the half button there. More than enough to take it down. Nice. All right. You guys are just. Opening up the, the field for them <laughs> to come up after Rialt and Nekepso. As they're just going to keep rushing in, and it's going to make a bite at you, Rialt. Okay. Start. Now, wanting its first one, awesome. and then completely whiffing the second one. Finally, bringing us to your turn. Well, seeing how this is going, I regret my choice and so I am going to is the action called exchange where yeah, I trade one item for another swap exchange um, I can't say something think. like that right yeah yeah swap, I'm gonna see swap. that draw the copet um, I will raise my field it's 
still says it's up though, but okay. That's what happens when you use it uh, up from defend. His okay. Foundry will just keep it active for an extra okay. round. And that's a hit just barely missing the crit, unfortunately. Okay. Eight points of damage. Unfortunately, the slashing is resisted, but you do still get a chunk in. Okay. Um, and then I will raise my shield. All right. Oh, no. Use raise your shield. There we go. That is going to bring us to the jackal that Nekepso injured. And it is actually going to come down towards you, Yasir. Did anyone have a reactive strike that that would trigger? Either no. Yasir or Nekepso? All right. Yeah. Then into Yasir it shall bite. For three damage on the first bite. And no damage with its second attempt. Another now one. Yikes. Oh, it missed? Yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and do my reaction. All right. I will sudden shift. Ooh. All right. You may immediately step and become concealed. Very nice. <laughs> the first time I think you've gotten to use that. Second. Second. The second time. Very nice. All right. One more jackal is going to come out, and because you're not an active target for it, going to come around to there. It does not have enough uh, moves to get into flanking with... Actually, it can. It can move to right here and be flanking the Capso with its 35-foot move speed. Which is going to allow it to hit the first bite for three damage. Yeah. Rolling a lot of ones on the damage dice. But no dice on the second and final bite, Nikep, so that brings us back to you. Are you muted? No, I'm just thinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see the interact, but I'm not hearing anything. I don't like this flanking sh shit they got going on. <laughs> I'm going to target that one. All right. And I'm going to smack it with my dancer's spear. Why not? Oh, that's a hit. Damage. No, I do not have my finisher on me, goddammit. Precise strike is on. Five. Unfortunately, that is exactly their resistance, so they will take no injury from that blow. Okay, I'll confident finish her in there. Sure. And... just barely misses. But really solid damage there. That is going to be exactly enough to get the kill. Nice. Okay, um, that is my turn. Alright. And 
my opportune repost is online because I'm actually two-handing my spear. <laughs> ho ho, hot dog. So go ahead and crit miss me. <laughs> <laughs> I will do my best. Uh, but before that, it's actually Shay's turn. Uh, I think I gotta move back down to get to where I want to go, so... Sure. I'm gonna go down over here. Uh, Shay's going to go ahead and reach in the pouch and pull out a little bit of sulfur. And I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, fire splash, uh, which is just the acid splash spell that does fire uh, based on the, the what the race racial feed I took. Very nice. Uh, so you're... Well, that, that's unfortunate. That is oh. not going to hit, unfortunately. Shay goes, huh, I should go work on that. <laughs> uh, and that is, that's all I got. All right, Yasir, that brings us back to you. I will do a three-action heal. Ooh. Ooh. All right. That's, that's delightful. Yeah, that should get everything. And rolling some saves. The one closest to you fails. Middle one fails. And the farthest one fails, so they will all take full damage. And you, and it, Kepso, and Rialt will all heal. And it's just one roll for everything, right? Yes. Ooh, nice. All right. I am no longer concealed. And both of the remaining two skeletons after your magic are on death's door. And Yasir, you get to heal from that as well if you want. Since you are the Thank source you. of the emanation, you can choose whether you are affected by it or not. I will absolutely be affected <laughs> by it. Are you sure? Yes. You don't have to be. This time I will. All right. That is going to bring us to this jackal right here we've got some final attacks before you guys obliterate them the first strike is against Rialt yep. and that's gonna miss second strike is against Nikepso and that is a natural 20 so oh cool. man for minimum damage though six points of piercing to you just what you just healed and the final strike will be against you once more. Here's your critical miss. All right. I will opportune repost. Sounds good. And... Would you like to disarm it of its jaws? No. Okay. Yes, please. Strzike. Oh! Oh, my! Back. All right. Is that enough to... It is more than enough to get the kill. All right, Rialt, I'll leave it up to you if you'd like to actually go through the rolling or if you just yes, want to see you Yes, yes, oh, yes, no, yes, boom, reach you, kill it, kill it, kill it, dead. <laughs> you're not even targeting the right one in your excitement. Oh, I meant to. Does that help? Yeah, that's, uh, that's very dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The last oh. skeleton quickly collapses, crumbling to the ground under your onslaught. Oh. Okay. There were a lot of those things. But that made a lot of noise, too. Yeah. Should we move in? Left, right, or straight ahead into the main area? Come along, Tim. I, I, I thought you all wanted me staying outside watching over things for you. Wasn't that well, what I mean, you originally mentioned? If I thought you that wanted... was because of the bones. 
If you wanted to be out there by yourself when there's enemies about, okay, Tim. That seems like a poor choice. <laughs> but that's on you. You get you're an independent man, Tim. I, I, I we just I, want to help. If I go with you, are you going to just send me first to check into rooms if the if the traps? Maybe. No, no, we're not going to do that, Tim. You're and a valuable trying... member of the party. Exactly. If we were trying to, to hurt you, I mean, why would we bring you along? That would be... Right. That'd be because that'd be I feel stupid. like it's that more about be emotional hurt than, than physical before you guys... Uh, oh. Tim, no, I, I consider my friends. Uh, you're okay. Just come along. Stay close to me. I almost never get hits. Okay. Um, <laughs> as you guys enter the room, the, the main room... Uh, can I get Nikepso and Yasir to roll those perception checks one more time for me? Uh, since you guys have just come out of a combat, let's re-up those exploration rolls. Okay. There's a couple things you notice. Primarily Yasir. Probably the wind over however long has deposited a layer of dust and sand on the floor of this front chamber. Um, you are able to notice what appear to be relatively fresh tracks in the dust. Oh. Someone was here recently. I, I, I missed that. I'm sorry. Which way were they headed? You can give me a survival check if you want to take a closer look at them. Absolutely. We're going to need one of our spellcasters to learn light. <laughs> well, Shay's got a torch. Can't, can't you just learn to see in the dark? <laughs> Not till level like seven. <sighs> she will pull out a torch sure uh, there should be a little fun toggle on your character sheet in the actions tab for torch is lit which you can turn on anyone can do this if you have a torch set as being in one hand you can toggle the torch is lit and off and it will actually provide illumination cool. that's a lot of light I need, I need a lantern this is way too much light <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. Too much light, he says. <laughs> um, taking a little bit of time to look over these tracks, Rialt. There, there are multiple sets. Um, in total, perhaps more than five. Some of them as recent as... Uh, less than 24 hours old. Okay. I'll point that out to everyone. Um, as you guys are looking around, you also find what appears to be, like, sort of hidden behind the, the pillars, sloughed off flesh and blood, and muscle, and the smell of meat beginning to rot also persists in those areas. So, like, back there? Yeah, like, there, there. Not really, like, directly hidden, mind you, but just things that you wouldn't necessarily have noticed while you were outside until you came into the room. And it's relatively speaking fresh it's not like desiccated it zombie in the like. process of rotting yes okay every pillar have one they're not specifically like hidden behind the pillars they're they're close ish to the pillars um but each pillar is each one is closer to one of the pillars yeah there there are six total piles of flesh and uh, to unicap so it does look like the ones that may have at one point been more out in the open might have been like kicked over towards the pillars. Again, this is like the dogs. 
could very well be. Six dogs. Yeah, there's definitely some fur. Um, so they just made these undead beasts. That is a lot of them. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Pure evil. Oh, I mean, yeah, pure evil. So, there do we think... Do we want to rush to try to find them? Do we want to try to avoid them for as long as possible? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, hmm. we weren't able to figure out which way the trap, the tracks, the fresh tracks went, were we? Some looked like they were coming in. Some looked like they were leaving. Oh, okay. They might have expected us to be here tomorrow. So we might have a little time to clear this place out first. Yeah. All right. I don't think we want them coming up behind us. You, are you sure? Yes. Mm-hmm. Especially with, well, the dog will be very obvious with the, with the bodies on the ground that someone was here. And also, I guess the bodies we left behind of, uh, to do like a little side nod over to Tim. Like them. <laughs> you just, you just left the bodies out. I, I don't think we left their bodies. I thought we, I think we might have thrown them somewhere. Uh, but I know I'm not you, sure what we're doing with the skeletons. You hid the weapons in the sand pile so you could pick them up later. But I think you guys just oh. kind of left the bodies out on the road because oh. you were focused on tracking Tim down. Right. Yeah, feast for the crows. <laughs> uh, right, looking through. Them. I'll give you guys a quick description of the passages so you might have some information. Okay. Um, to the east, believe it or not, it turns north. That's all you got. Uh, to the west, what appears to be uh, a short hallway leading into a more enclosed space, uh, you can see through the thin light, what appears to be a few curtains hanging up, almost like, um... Just like doorways with curtains instead of doors over them. To the north, that is what appears to be the main chamber of this temple. Uh, there's a large star-shaped fountain with a circular pool in the center near the entrance. Um which you can't really see uh, much of it from where you are, but you could always go investigate. There are multiple more rows of columns supporting the ceiling overhead, uh, which does rise into a dome over the northern portion of the chamber, where there is a massive statue with arms raised overlooking the entire length of the temple from atop a raised dais. I honestly, I, I would be lying if I didn't say I wasn't interested in seeing the uh, chamber up to the north. I feel like it is the most immediately interesting. Um, well, whatever you think. I'll just, I'll, I'll go one second, I guess. Uh, but yeah, kind of like bringing the torch forward to illuminate the rest of the room. Yeah. Shay, as you approach that northern room, detect magic pings. All right. Uh, uh, oh, there's, there's magic. Uh, kind of start looking around. Maybe the fountain. Probably the fountain. I don't imagine the fountain, but I, I guess I'll, I'll step in and start looking. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, All right. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. 
I'm gonna say as you step in, you can get a, a little bit of a better look at the fountain itself, um, which you can see the bottom of the pool is decorated with this massive mosaic eye made from tiny colored tiles. Uh, hieroglyphs are carved into the paving stones, ringing the fountain that you're able to see a little bit better now that you're here. I, I can't read I can't read this, but could any of you read this? Uh, can I take a look at it? Is it in ancient Assyriani? It absolutely is. Uh, the hieroglyphs identify this as a pool of protection. And it is full of water right now. Um, I'll step to the side so Yasir and the other come up to it and maybe make sense of it. No idea what this is. <laughs> it is a pool of water. Uh, give me one second to start doing that triangulation thing. Uh, you would have been able to tell that it is coming <laughs> from the pool. Okay. When Detect Magic would have first pinged okay. you. Okay, perfect. Um, does anyone have a an empty flask from a potion that we've used or something? Empty uh. flask? You don't eat the potion vial along with the potion. <laughs> Not it's normally. It's tradition to throw them straight on the ground and smash them. Yeah. All right, that's true. Um, I might actually have empty vials. I've got oh. Alchemist Tolkien. I feel like there might be vials in there. <laughs> Probably. That's cool. Uh, I do not. I just have Chuck. <laughs> yeah, I'll reach into the Tolkien and I'll pull out one of the vials in there. Sure. Uh, do we think the water is the important part or the fountain? Perhaps the water. Maybe it. Um, I mean, does it maintain like a holy property to it, or is it uh, an abjuration type or a protective type of magic? Um, it, I don't know much about these things, but I've read them, <laughs> and and the art is beautiful. I do agree there. All right, uh, we can scoop some up and. Uh, tested uh alchemical or magical i feel like i might be able to figure it out with some time if it's anything more than uh stagnant water and i guess against my better judgment i will uh scoop some water from the bowl with a vial okay fill one of your vials pretty easily with this water <clears throat> all right uh is there anything I can do, like, around the pool to try to figure out, like, what the magic might be? I mean, you can always try and identify magic if you guys wanted to spend ten minutes. That would be ten minutes, though. <laughs> that would be ten minutes. Maybe maybe next time we get, uh, we, we try to sit down to, like, heal people up or patch people up, we can come back here and I can look at that while people are patching. Good work, yes. Or we could do it now. You could read this, right, Snake Epso? As an ancient Osiriani? Yes. Yeah, I can read it. What does it say? It's a pool of protection, I believe it's called. Does it say protection from? Let me think for a moment. <laughs> there is no other words aside from pool of protection. Yeah, just okay. recalling knowledge if I know anything about pools of protection. Uh, 
they are not something you have heard of or come across before. I've not heard of rules of perception or protection, but um Did I Did I just drink them? You may want to look at the secret note the DM passed you there, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Which side? East. Around here. I will walk up to him. Okay. So when I get sucked into a painting. I'll move up next to this here just in case something popped out. <laughs> uh, while, he's, while he's examining. Yeah, I mean, looking at the mural that you thought you saw move, at least, um, the exterior and interior walls are all pretty completely covered in murals of deities in various forms both deities belonging to the core pantheon of Galarian, at least as it was known during this time in Osirian, as well as the more classical ancient Osirian deities. The mural that looked like it moved to you was that of Thoth. Call some knowledge, see if uh, they like moving painting or like moving murals. Uh, before you roll, not liking us on the encounter table there. I need everyone to roll initiative <laughs> for me. Yeah. Just so I've got you in initiative. Uh, Yasir, funny enough, you're up first, so you are welcome to recall knowledge if you'd like. I already rolled like right before the initiatives. Yeah. Um. Oh boy. You personally have not heard of anything like this. I mean, I suppose enchanted artwork is certainly possible. Uh, it could be some sort of protection method, or it could be some sort of uh, just like hazard. It could have also been a trick of the light. It has not moved since you thought you saw it move. You may not have seen it as you thought you did. I'll walk up and touch it. Okay. You place your hand against the uh, the cool wall. Uh, you feel like the cracked and faded paint underneath it. At the moment, nothing seems to happen. Nikepso, are you doing anything seeing this? Before you walk away, you see her. Up, 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 up. Um. You see her, have you said anything to the group yet? No. Okay. So you've just seen you see her walk over, sort of ex inspect one of these murals and place his hand against it. That's it. What are you doing? This one move. Did you see it too? I did it... not get a secret note from the GM. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see it move. No, no. Preposterous. For you are searching too, are you not? Yes, yeah, so now I would like to re-roll my search. Yeah, absolutely. I'll seek, see if I can uh, spot anything wrong with the painting. Sure. And I will 
will search thoroughly. If that made, makes any difference. Uh, so thorough search. That would be at half speed. Yeah, so that would effectively. Quarter, quarter it would effectively you mean you're taking a two action search action instead of a one action seek. Okay. Yeah, which I'll allow. <clears throat> huh. As you're looking in that direction, you don't see that mural move. But out of the corner of your, your eye, you could swear you see something move behind this pillar in the dim light. Just a quick shadow. It's kind of behind the pillar, and when your eyes swept in that direction, just kind of moved as if it was hiding itself a bit better. Right north pillar. I went over there and pointed out with my last section, I guess. Okay. You see her, as Nikepso points this out, and you go to pull your hand off the wall and potentially go investigate it, you find your hand stuck for a moment. And let me just check. Thankfully, at the last moment, you were aware enough that you will not be off guard, as it appears to you that the mural itself has latched onto your arm, pulling itself free from the wall, gaining bulk and muscle in order to hold you in place. Something looking like this. Oh, that's not cool. That's kind of cool. It's kind of uh, cool. It's just also not good for us. <laughs> not what I was expecting, but it is going to punch you because that How is what the wall does. It. How dare it! It is going to miss its first oh. strike. I will do my reaction. Yeah, you may uh, conceal yourself and step away. Actually, you have not refocused, have you? Oh, does it require refocus? Oh, it is a focus yeah. spell. Uh, and I don't believe you guys took ten minutes between nope. fighting mm. the jackals and coming in here. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, if that's the case, it's going to punch you with a second yep. action. Is just gonna punch you again. It's gonna miss again. What a fucking loser. Wall. Please, whoa, well, so stop. <laughs> you have the wives. What language are you speaking in? Just normal common. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't know ancient Assyrian. Fair enough. Uh, it is going to use its last action to try and hide itself in the wall once more. check the success values on hide just to confirm okay it is going to become hidden remember where the hidden condition is there we go as it is going to do its best to retract the limb that just came out of the wall back in and hide itself amongst the paintings uh, once more. Uh, Shay, that's going to bring us to you. You, as you're, you are kind of focused on this uh, water, scooping some up, your head kind of snapped up when Nikepso said, behind the pillar, and you just saw the wall taking swings at Yasir, but him dancing out of the way before it sort of melded back into the wall. 
returning to just looking like a painting. When he said behind the pillar, did he did he mean this the pillar like where this thing is or the one I think he said something about top right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Um well, how high is the ceiling here? Uh, right here, it's about 15 feet up. It does increase uh, over by the dais itself, where the statue is. The ceiling is domed there and goes to about 40 feet. Okay. Um, I might try for my first action to do a bird, get a bird's eye view, or a flying snake's eye view. I'm going to command Renan to fly, sure. uh, and she'll use both her actions to move. Are you using an action to do that, or do you want to use your patron's puppet focus spell? Uh, to do that as I a can't say. I, I know. I always, I always <laughs> debate whether or not I'm gonna need it, and I never use it. Mm. Um, I think I've used it once the entire time. Yeah, yeah I'll use it now. Might sure. as well. Might as well. Ahead. Use that so I can get my, my focus points. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fine, no action. Uh, Renan, go over there, please. All uh, right. Renan will fly over and definitely will not die. Sure. So flying 25 feet, then 10, and straight oh, up from there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, can go up 15 feet, meaning it gets about 7 feet higher, because going up and down is difficult terrain when flying, funny enough. Uh, okay. So, uh, actually, can I kind of jump her back a little bit then, so yeah. she's like 10 feet up? Absolutely. Uh, just in case. So, like, would, I don't know where it'd be that 10 feet would be okay. I will say right there's just fine. All right. All right. I'll pop that into 10. All right. And then does, uh, is she able to see anything as she goes? Or I guess it might be hiding or whatever it is. Uh, just based off of passive perception, Renan sees nothing. All right. Perfect. Uh, Renan will uh, look back. Uh, Shay will shrug. And I guess I will go ahead and move over. Oh. On. Let me do the moving thing. <laughs> Five. Are you holding shift right ten. now? Ten. Yeah, I was trying to path uh, to do the pathfinding thing, but uh, uh, it's uh, I hold would control go. for that. Ah, oh, control. Thank you. Yeah. Um. All right. And then I. Uh. I guess I'll go right. So that'd be twenty-five. Up. Uh, the pillars in my way from there. Darn it! I picked a bad <laughs> spot. Uh, I'll go right here. Um. Which sure. is probably not smart. And then for my last two actions uh, i'll hold an action to needle darts this thing if it comes back out you won't be able to hold needle darts when you oh because it's two action. actions already yeah my bad. you have to hold a single action oh well i'm gonna suppose our one action i made a mistake <laughs> all right uh then i instead i will go ahead and guidance uh you see her sure it, it makes me feel good and for my last action i don't know for my last action, I'll just sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I guess I can do that twice. Yeah, uh, real, you can have it as well. Thank You're you. Right beside Thank me. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy. All right. I guess I need to cast a choice. You guys could just both take it. Yeah. So, Yasir and Rialt, go ahead and both of you grab the guidance effect. Okay. Um. And then I... I'll bring this to you, Rialt. Okay. So, I saw Yasir. I, I just don't think Rialt would try to talk to it. I think that he would seek as an action to find it. Sure. There's a fun little conundrum. Do I go off of the stealth roll he rolled or his stealth DC here? I believe I go off of the stealth DC. Which is a bit of a shame because he rolled amazing on his stealth roll. <laughs> but his DC is not the highest. Um, yeah, uh, he will absolutely become observed by you, Rialt. Okay. So you are able to target him just fine. As you can sort of see the the ripples in the stone of whatever this thing is. You're not sure if it's the mural on the stone or something else entirely. Okay, well, I will then uh, point out where it is to the others. Uh, I thought that was an accident. 
point. Uh, it is an action to point out, yes. All right, did, did, is it so not? Typically, uh, my ruling on it is if you're noticing something or finding information out, you can call that out to the group just for free as part of it. If you're yeah. specifically seeking a creature that is uh, that has successfully hidden itself during combat, I'm typically going to ask for people to use the point out action. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem. To then show other people. Yeah, I just don't see it in the basic action macro. It's not in the basic action macros because there's no role associated with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I use my second action to point out, um, and actually. That's weird, because point out is only for if they're undetected. But he and then I'll raise my shield. Not undetected. And that's my three. So if you see your nose where it is right in front of him, then. Yeah. I'll, uh, okay. I'll go ahead and change just how point out works, because point out's a bit of a weird action. Uh, you know what? No. For, for consistency's sake, because in every other situation, I allow pointing out to be done for free. Um... If one person is able to succeed, I am going to just continue to allow you to point out for free as part of it. Okay, well, in that case, I'll, I would move forward and strike. Sure. Strike at the wall. That is not I, gonna I hit. missed... Yeah, just that strong stone. It's right here. <laughs> it's stone. <laughs> what do you it's... expect? <laughs> okay, that's sure. it. You are hitting a wall with a sword. Okay, uh, that's be done. Yes, sir. That brings us back to you. Top of the round. Oh, can I just? I'm sorry. I didn't apply the guidance. Would the twenty make a difference? Uh, so let me ask you this: Would you have applied the guidance on your seek roll first, or were you specific? Yes, I would have. I time? would have used it. No, I would have used it for the seek. Yeah, okay. thank you. Yeah, I'll click it off. Got it. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. No worries. Just uh, trying to go for some consistency. Yes, sir. Walking away. Are you sure that's a good idea? Probably not, but... Okay. Well, nothing happens when you walk away. Hmm. I am tempted to see if this works. No, it won't work. So, I will provide me. Okay. Go for that attack roll. We'll use my guidance on this. That does, in fact, hit. Nice! Is it a construct? I suppose yeah. we'll find out, won't we? We're about to find out. Yeah. It takes the damage. Oh! It is, in fact, impacted by your magic. My turn. All right. Nikepso, that brings us to you. <laughs> Should it survive, this wall will make sure everyone knows of how good your singing is. And, uh, I guess Tim will continue to let people know how good it is. Right. Yeah. Tim's the mascot. Tim has to be around for you to nat 20 your singing. That's what really right. has to happen. Applause from the background, please, Tim. <laughs> Tim will use his held action to clap. Uh, yeah, I'll just do a finisher because I need to get used to that. Sure. I can't wait for the... A 25 absolutely hits. Damage. Twelve points of damage. All right. As your blade sinks into the stone and pulls free, there is an actual cut. It's not nearly as solid as you would expect stone to be, and a little bit of sand pours out. 
You can see the stone kind of move a little bit. It's almost the where you stab the wall in the mural almost looks like gelatin with how it moves. And then without, I'm not trying to actually uh, roll an action on this. Mm -hmm. but I'll just an inch in a Syrian and be like, "Why do you attack us?" All right. That's going to bring us to its turn. It has no response to you, Nikapso. But it is going to punch Rialt with okay. a fist. That seems fair. Oh! oh! Uh, you don't have to hit me that hard. Come on now, wall. <laughs> Rialt, you don't happen to have quick block, do you? I absolutely, I absolutely do have reactive If you shield. use Thank that, you. it would make it not crit you. Okay, there we go, reactive. Uh, raise your AC to 21. Yep. So then I will raise the shield and use that. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. I, I will remember how to play a fighter. Uh, main reason I want to check on that is because you're taking 17 damage on a non-crit. Whoa, okay. Uh, and from there, yep. it vanishes. Okay, now that's your mean. As you notice the arm rapidly extended from the wall, you just barely managing to pull your shield up in time, Rialt, as it slams the shield back into your chest and sends you staggering a foot or two back. That sort of undulation of the wall vanishes after a moment. Nikepso, okay. you notice where you had previously stabbed it, sand is no longer spilling out, and it appears to just be a regular chip in the stone about the depth that your spear had penetrated it. But, for all intents and purposes, it seems to have vanished. Like, vanish, vanish. Oh, like, it's not coming back vanished. Yeah. yeah. There's... If you wait around a couple seconds looking for it, I will just confirm now, without need for rolls, it is gone. To um, where? Who knows? Oh, okay. That, that's bad and weird and bad. I, I don't know if it would be relevant, but it says bleed or had sand dripping out... Can I try, like, Plane of Earth Lore or something like that? See if some sort of, like, elemental creature? Sure. Or maybe, you know, recall knowledge in general, figure out what the heck it may be. Yeah, Plane of Earth Lore. Uh, good call on having that. With, specifically because you have Plane of Earth Lore, Shay. After a moment, it clicks what this thing is. It is an elemental from the plane of Earth. It is a creature known as an Akat. A-H-K-H-A-T. Specifically. A lot of H's. Yeah. Very fun, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> they are an ancient type of elemental not seen very frequently if ever in the modern day it's effectively a consciousness bound to a building it's able to form a body of sorts from the walls the floors the ceilings of the structure um but it is effectively able to move anywhere it wishes in a building as long as it is able to touch one of its surfaces. Oh my gosh. Oh, this. However. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you can uh, go ahead. Good. No, go ahead. I, I, I want to get all the information. <laughs> I mean, they're uh, Normally, they're not super aggressive. But they're also, they're bound to a building specifically through a keystone that would be uh, made a part of the building's foundation at some point. Um, 
Hmm. Okay. And if someone is in control of that keystone, they would be able to order the Akant as they pleased. Got it. This is really interesting. Uh, this elemental is so rare. I don't know that how many people have actually been able to see this thing. It's really, really, really cool. Uh, it attaches itself to a building. It is able to kind of move throughout the entire building. Honestly, it could ambush us from any point, as long as we're touching like a wall, a floor, a ceiling, probably even these pillars. Um, usually they're not really aggressive, but it is possible uh, that someone might have found the, uh, uh, there's a keystone it, it helps control uh, this thing. And it's possible someone might found it. And maybe they're telling it to, you know, attack anyone's not them or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, these, yeah, very, very cool. Do you? I wish it wasn't so I'm sorry. aggressive. I know. I, I'm, I'm uh, wondering. Go, do you, go ahead. Do you do you think that it had anything to do with the depth in the other room? Did it actually like pull the fluff from bodies? I mean, Did as that... far as I'm aware, it, it can't do necromancy. Yeah. Okay. I, I would imagine perhaps the same person pulled the fluff from the bodies. Are ones that made skeleton, perhaps yeah. that stone, um, and could be the part of it sent uh, uh, side nod to him, uh, you know, kill yeah. us. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, I think I, I want to try drinking from this fountain. I'm it, it, sorry to interrupt I, your discussions. Be, oh, you said it's it's able to happens. attack anywhere as long as you're touching the the walls, floor, ceiling, right? I think I'm going to wait outside if that's all right, then. Oh, oh well, Tim, no. It might people get you from out there, too. Like, the outer... I, I just don't have to touch the walls of the building, don't I? Uh, you know what? I, maybe, it's, maybe it's time to let Tim go turn himself in. And, Tim, you promised to wait for us there, right? Of course. And, because we want to tell people what you've... How you've been reformed. Yes. And I... You know... I really don't want to have to track you down and drag you there, but I know I won't have well, to because you're such a good person. Give me a diplomacy It might check. actually be worse than that. I know. I mean, he could get eaten by more of the blue zombie things on his way out, but he obviously thinks that's better than being with us. So, I, you know, I say he's a creature of free will, and if he wants to wander into the, the blue ghoul's nest and have his flesh stripped from his body by those gnarly claws, I mean, that's Tim's choice. I might actually try to play this up a little bit. My question telling more as well. Uh, pulling out like <laughs> uh, old, like, bills from my component pouch and be like, I mean, I read these and like, one of the reasons I, I didn't want it because it, it influences things. But if you don't stay, you know, close to us, if you leave us, like, you could, you're not could, you you will die. It's very unfortunate. Um, bones themselves are, are they're blessed. Uh, the magic, my, uh, my friend over there, Ren, she's, she's very good. But if you want to stay outside, I think that would save. I don't think you should leave. I don't think you would be smart to leave, is what I'm saying. Uh, but, but you do you, Tim. Go ahead. If you would like to use fortune-telling lore to assist in a diplomacy check from Rialt, you're more than welcome to. Oh, Rialt is so bad at diplomacy! <laughs> Not his thing. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is you're getting a plus two from Rialt. <laughs> right. Okay, see you later, Tim. You don't want we'll to hero your point that? Body. No, I do not want to hero point, Tim. <laughs> we'll, we'll catch you later, Tim. I, I didn't oh. say I was going to leave. I just catch. was going to wait outside. Uh, uh, okay, goodbye. Go. Yeah. And Take safe. care. If you don't wait, if you leave, uh, you're in danger. So be safe. Yeah, be, be safe, Tim. Yeah, we, we can see your friends. I am just going to wait outside to for now. It's oh, okay. Bye, Tim. You if you deal with that thing, let me oh. know. I'll come back. No, it's okay. Bye, Tim. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, Tim. Whoa, it's good, good to know. Good to know you. I miss you. No longer there. What you see here? 
It is no longer there. It's already been dealt with. It's, what, you said it could attack from anywhere, didn't you? When it was alive. It's dead? Well, yes. What's that? Oh. Give me a deception I'm just roll. searching the room, ignoring yeah. everything. That's <laughs> I don't think it does like checking everything out. Yeah. Uh, before you get too far in the kept, so I am going to have to stop you. So I just want to resolve this real quick. I did see your perception roll. Oh, okay. Well, I am not good at deception. <laughs> a blind, please. Hmm. Well, I know what I got now. Wonder, wonder what honestly, honestly impressive. Now keep in mind, if you get a 16 <laughs> one more time in a row, you automatically get three hero points yeah that, that yeah that's awesome <laughs> i mean if it if it's dead then i i suppose there's not really a reason for me to wait outside oh my god he's definitely gonna get eaten by this thing <laughs> now now Tim will gonna stay be with your you tears because of that roll. just uh, one last job tim that's all it is just one last job nekepso <laughs> As you're kind of looking around this area, you can see the two large sets of double doors uh, to the east and west. You can also see the raised dais itself that you're approaching is about five feet off the floor. The stairs leading up to it. Um, the statue, which is very clearly a statue of Nethys, half of it white, half of it black, uh, stands about 15 feet tall on this raised octagonal dais, um, which, while most of this platform is tiled in black marble, the dais is a striking white, and there is a ring of red separating them. And it's those sort of same black and white marbles that make the statue itself up. As you sort of approach the platform itself... And every, you're like in the back of your mind, you can hear everyone else arguing with Tim. You're not sure what they're doing exactly. Uh, the statue speaks to you. Out loud? Mm-hmm. Not very loud, just loud enough for you to hear it when everyone else is speaking with Tim. But definitely out loud. What does it say? First two, then six, five, now ten. What brings you all to a place so beholden to the past? was first two then six now ten two then six then five then ten They didn't know the Sirianni or Yes. Ancient. Modern Osiriani. Oh modern. Not ancient. We seek knowledge of the past. And treasures of the past. Well. I can't speak for the others that came through here. If tis knowledge you seek, then go. Explore to your heart's content. Witness yourself folly and weakness firsthand. And when you have found yourself wanting more, Provide supplication to me, and I shall lead you on the right track.
who are you? I doubt am. Nethus deigns to speak with me, a lonely being, directly. I need not be a deity to speak. Magic itself has a voice. People these days simply choose not to listen to it. I'm entirely the wrong person for this conversation. <laughs> I'd say, like, at this point is probably when the, the conversation with Tim is wrapping up. If you wished to grab someone else. They all understand ancient Assyrian except for Yasir, right? Oh, this is speaking modern anyway. Uh, Shay, come here. Oh. Talk to this statue. Alright, I'll be right back, Tim. I'm sorry, did, did you just say talk to the statue? Talk to the statue? Uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's an expression. Oh, I love riddles. Two, then okay. six, then five, uh, then ten. Two, then six, then five, and ten. Uh, I guess I'll walk up towards the statue, kind of looking towards it. Sure. Uh, going from excite, uh, not excite, yeah, going from excitement to more reverence at this point, kind of approaching the statue this old. Yeah. It's incredibly well sculpted. It's unusual. Uh -huh. it, it definitely appears to be two different types of marble that it's made from, but they look like they've been fused into one solid via magic. Your craftsmanship is amazing. Wow. This and so much more. I know Harmon getting a little closer. Please oh. come as close as you would like. Oh, of course. Do you find yourself seeking knowledge? Answers, power. I, I mean, what person isn't seeking knowledge and answers? And power comes with those things. Knowledge is power. Why are you here? What's your purpose? I am everywhere. I am the weave of magic itself made manifest by the desires of man. I simply don't find many who are able to listen when I speak. Listening is a skill that few are able to possess and have the patience for. Is it the statue that specifically that lets you speak so audibly, or uh, is it just now, us, that you want to talk to? This statue is a fair conduit for my voice. After all, what it represents is a place that those who seek the knowledge most would come to. It is an easy kind of knowledge? way mm -hmm. for me to speak. Makes sense. What sort of knowledge do you possess? Uh, I mean, clearly magic, it's what you are, but... Is there a specific magic you want to lead us to? Is there something here that needs needs our help, our assistance? I simply offer magic, understanding, oh. and mm -hmm. questions. After all, my gaze is limited. One amongst your number claimed you came here seeking knowledge. Yes. And treasures. Oh. There, are, there are indeed a number of things like that. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I think it would be beneficial for we can help each other out. Uh, I would love to get some knowledge. Magic is, uh, well, a slow-going process. And the nuance of it is, uh, 
difficult at times. I'd appreciate any insight you can offer, and any help about the uh, what's what's within this place, or uh, if there are others in the place before us, because I think there might have been others here before us as well, uh, that uh, left things to kill anyone that followed them. If you seek knowledge so easily, I can, of course, provide it. It may not be the most comfortable transference, but I certainly can. However, you are also welcome to seek out the knowledge on your own. Find what you can. Understand as much as possible. Bring those learnings back to me once you have absorbed every little thing you can from this place. And then you may be a stronger vessel for what I can provide. The choice is yours. I do find it important to earn knowledge. Uh, can the rest of you can hear this, right? This isn't like a, everyone on the dais hears and the rest of you are just staring blankly, right? <laughs> the, I'm not yeah, crazy, the statue is talking. No, no, it, it is talking, but it, you, I mean... Would it be here's... more believable if I spoke directly to you in your mind? It goes no, silent I... and the next words you hear are directly in your mind, Shay, telepathically. Or do you prefer me believable. to speak? Loud. Oh, out loud for sure. I, I just wanted to make sure everyone else could hear you, uh, was all. So if you spoke in my mind, that would actually make it less believable that I was talking and more likely I was hearing voices or speaking to someone else or keeping secrets, which I'm not. Uh, what good is a what, secret if not shared? And it uh, says what this is out loud. a secret if it is shared? Knowledge. Knowledge. That is correct. Did you share any of this wisdom with a woman earlier? Human woman? No. You, you, earlier you said two, six, five, and then and now ten. Do you mean there are ten people all together in the temple now? Ten souls. A wash inside this place, yes. Do you know where the others are? They are trespassers and seek to thieve that which is not theirs. Is that not what you are as well? No. Does any of this stuff belong to you? No, but by the authorities that exist, we have been given permission to explore and to bring word and examples of, of our forefathers and their wonderful things. So, yes, but those... with a different intent. An intent mattered. And those who came before bear no such responsibilities? We don't know. We only know that they are not supposed to be here, and therefore their motives are suspect. They have sent, and, they have sent individuals to kill any of that approach to this place, barring it. They are willing to bring death and destruction. So it would appear that their intentions are not entirely pure. And I don't claim that ours are entirely pure, I, but I, I think that our motivations are wholly different. You count as familiar in your count. I would hope so. I do. 
And of course you count Tim. <laughs> yes. Okay. Our count is six. Therefore, there are four other beings in this place. Can you oh. tell us anything of the others? I certainly can provide my understanding of them. However, it is not a comfortable process by which that sort of information can be easily given. Well, what does it entail? Yeah. A transfer of emotions, thoughts, beliefs, understanding. I can provide my exact experiences of them in this place. But the rush of emotion, thought, may be too much for one such as your current self to bear. Oh man, that's This transfer other. could kill one of us? I would not say kill, no. But befuddle, hmm. frighten. Yes. Maybe we should explore on our own, then. I'm willing to do it. I... Oh, go, go, okay. Can, can I ask, what, what is the purpose of the fountain? It's to protect, but to protect what, and to protect how, and to protect against whom? The fountain is right there, is it not? It is. So we should find out for ourselves why it does, rather than relying on you to give us information. Again, I can give you the information you desire. I could explain the ins and outs of this entire place as I have been here. But yep. the process of transferring that information If befuddlement and fear is what you may experience at the moment, simply learning about a few other souls in this place, what do you think knowing everything about this place would entail? That right. may lead you to death. Um, we, I mean, I, I, I'm certainly willing to let Nekepso do what he wants, but I've wondered if there were healing properties in the fountain and so if maybe trying that first before Nekepso tries to gain knowledge in case we have to save him we we could also do some exploring and get the knowledge by ourselves and then come back uh, to show what we've recovered and then gain the rest maybe not having to gain it all and having some ourselves would make it easier there is some knowledge worth learning firsthand, but knowledge of enemies in this place. Go, go ahead then, Nekepso. Yes. What do you need me to do? Simply kneel before the statue, open your mind, and forgive me, it has been quite a long time since I have transferred information in this method. It may be a bit physically painful. Are you okay with that? The old dust and sand within this place will be stirred up quite violently by the transfer. How do I use a potion? <laughs> you can have a potion like ready to go. If you want if you want to use it now. Nine, yeah, it's only nine. Uh, you can uh 
you can either put it in chat or click on the name to get the drop down menu in your inventory and there'll be a blue use button. For potions, when you hit use, it'll actually roll the number. Just make sure you give yourself like the elixir of life effect first. I'll get four hit points back. All right. And what is the effect? Disease is a poison. Okay. Yeah. Probably not is beneficial like a, for here, but is it like a minute. I will kneel. Okay. Open my mind. Uh, Shay, are you and Renan staying on this dais as well? Uh. Mr. Shea wants to know the knowledge, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll step off of the dais, but be close to the capsule with crystals in hand in case uh, some healing is needed. Okay. You want to count me as prone, or...? Hmm. I think kneeling and sitting, I don't oftentimes count as prone. Okay. Because um, it requires a, a lot more effort to go from laying down to standing up than just, like, stand up if you're kneeling or sitting, typically. Uh, I do plan to use Charmed Light for any save. Okay, well, so, the big thing is, this effect does require a save. It is up to you. You can choose to fail the save, though. Oh, it's okay, so it's like, if I pass it, he wouldn't be able to pass knowledge. Perhaps, or you might not get it all. You're not really sure. Okay. I guess I'll let whatever happens happen. Okay. Well then. What should my backup player have? <laughs> Before we get into all of that, and uh, this magical transfer of memories, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here. So everyone can stand up, stretch, grab some water, think about your life choices, and I'll see you all in a few minutes. Not a single sense motive check got made there, y'all. What are you doing? Believe me. You said the magic words. Knowledge, <laughs> power. It's that Knowledge easy. Sense motive. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'll be right back to get some water. I did a quick... I did a quick poll at my house. Everyone agrees that we're just educating Tim on the poor choices that he made and the consequences that come with those poor choices. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? That 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 er, er, three out of three people said that's exactly what's happening. Uh huh. Just letting you know. I'm gonna assume Please there's continue. some information bias here <laughs> for no particular reason. His job is, like, real easy now. He's just a hype <laughs> man for us, you know? We'll follow you around and get gaslit. That's his job. <laughs> Eventually he'll get Stockholm get, Syndrome and he'll be your friend. Paid. You're gonna pay him? Yeah, we told him we would. He's That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's gotta tell everyone how awesome a dancer I am. You know? Right, right, or right. How, how good a dancer you were. Because uh, I don't know if you're going to survive <laughs> what true. happens on the statue. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Rest in peace, Nikepso. You will be missed. At least I'll tell you what monsters await you in this place before I die. Well. What level is the mummy archetype? <laughs> Two. <laughs> so, uh, you could absolutely pick up mummy and come back if you wish to. If you die. Oh, that just might be a, a different mummy. That's fair. <laughs> it, the mummy in the closet over to the west. The party will recruit him. There's uh, many things in Anethis Temple I could come back as, I think. Alrighty. Nikepso. As you kneel down in front of this statue of Nethys. Uh, hold up. Give me one moment. Let's, uh... I'm waiting for the heel turn. Gotta change my <laughs> music. 
My friend Hilton, you are so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> A non existent wind begins to pick up within the chamber. You begin to feel waves pulsing outwards, beginning to swirl around you. Slowly at first, the dust and sand on the ground, slowly picking up, just kind of shifting on the ground for the briefest of seconds before these energy waves, the wind, get stronger and stronger, pushing you backwards, slightly buffeting your eyes as the sand and dust gets picked up fully off the ground, beginning to spin and swirl, not just around you, covering the entirety of the raised platform as a miniature sandstorm almost begins to form here. Nikepso, Shea, and Renan, are you staying within the sandstorm as the sand and dust begins to buffet your eyes you know you have to keep your mouth closed otherwise it's going to get in there and begin to choke you it's hard to see with how everything is buffeting you but you're able to stand your ground if you wish I'll stay okay are you leaving Renan in the area as well Oh boy, that's a good question. Uh, Do you share no, I, senses with him? I not today. I don't. Oh, okay. Just use uh, him to observe. Yeah, I'll have. <laughs> Brendan <laughs> Brendan will uh will do what I'm doing to Nikepso and will be prepared to save my life should I pass out. Sure. Hopefully. So uh, yeah, Brendan will fly out if if possible. Yeah, absolutely. Both Nikepso and Shay, I'm going to need a fortitude save from you as you are within the area of the sandstorm. Okay. Is this one of the ones I should just auto fail? No, not necessarily. This is to resist the actual sand buffeting you and make sure you're able to see and not begin to choke on it. You might right, hero I points. will use Charmed Life for this. Then. Okay, sounds good. Fantastic, Shay. Uh, yeah, Shay and Nikepso. So both of you are... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see the fork down. No worries. That is absolutely a success. Not quite a crit success, though. Uh, you're able to actually breathe just fine. You're able to take short and quick enough breaths that you don't actually have to hold your breath in this sandstorm and risk suffocation, thankfully. But there is a penalty to any perception checks you make. Okay. You're also both going to take six points of slashing damage for just being within this sandstorm. Should I see my, tor my torch has also gone out? Uh, yeah, let's. I think that's fair to say. It's a non-magical torch. You are in the depths of a sandstorm. I think it is fair to say. Uh, which means it's a lot harder for some of you to see. I can still see Shay. I guess uh, it's low light vision. <laughs> yeah, low light vision, thankfully. Uh, the low light comes into... I think just barely, uh, like, here is where the low light ends in a capsule. So you're technically not visible quite to yeah, you see, I can or at see least. Yeah, Rialt and Jericho. But uh, you can see, Shay. uh, <laughs> you can see Rialt and Tim and Shay. <laughs> uh, but the, sh the statue not itself... Not I'm looking at them. Right. The statue Staring itself is now shrouded in d darkness. Open your mind to me. Let me grant you my experiences. I open my mind. Are you choosing to willingly fail a will save here? Yes. Okay. 
you are going to take 10 points of mental damage. Cursed Gaze. Mm. <laughs> and Interesting name for this knowledge transfer. Yeah. Could you roll a d6 for me, please? Alrighty, d6. Okay. You are going to become stunned one as you open your mind, expecting yourself to be flooded with the same information that you were told. Knowledge, power, emotion, feeling, memory, none of that hits you. Instead, barely through the smoke, you see what appears to be a single large blue eye underneath the arm of the statue, staring, unblinking, surrounded by teeth directly at you. And you begin to feel your body freeze up as you witness this. And I need everyone to roll initiative for me. Oh no, the statue is lying to you. Whoever could have guessed. <laughs> Whoever <laughs> could have was, guessed. But, um... I'm so glad you went with it and like decided to try it at least. I have not rolled above a four on initiative all night. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. No, I... <laughs> uh, Yasir, you aren't able to see much of what is going on through the sandstorm but you are first to act if you would like to do anything as far as you can tell this transfer of knowledge is ongoing with Nikhep so you can barely see his form kind of still kneeling down in the sandstorm stiffen slightly but whether that's to be expected or not you're not entirely sure I can still see like like, I, I saw him get hurt, right? Like, you can see him stiffen. You might see some blood fall from his nostrils. There is a sandstorm, and he is also just outside of the range of your vision. So, you know where he is, but you don't really have any fine details about him. I guess first things first, I shall move forward a bit. Grab a torch. Is there a way to light it? Uh, if you set a torch to be in one hand in your inventory, and then you go to the actions tab of your character sheet, there's a torch is lit toggle right underneath the non-lethal toggle. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, as the you pull out a torch and strike it up with your turn, raising it aloft to look in this area and see the entire chamber is once more lit up you are just outside the confines of the uh, uh, the sandstorm itself but that is going to do it for your turn hmm what you will <laughs> I'm debating <laughs> what I will thank you I have many options here is this effectively a new round from when I used charm life before it is absolutely okay so, yeah so I gotta make another save uh, at the end so there's no more saves need to be made against the uh, sandstorm that was just when it happened or when you first enter it, you will take damage as long as you end your turn within it. With no save there. Okay. Um, man, one of those times I really wish I just had an extra action, you know? <laughs> sure, we get to give those to you. That doesn't seem <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what if my, my monster was just quickened? Um, I 
Yeah, he'll turn his gaze on you as well, Shay, in the sandstorm. I don't know if that's necessary. Uh, if you could give me a will save as now you can see this bright blue eye turn to face you through the swirling dust. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like I might need this last year a point in a few minutes. You're welcome to save it. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. Okay. Do, do your worst. What's the worst? When did you use another one today? Uh, just a that? second ago in the sandstorm. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. To not start suffocating. That's gonna be 13 points of mental damage to you. Oh, boy. Uh... And could you roll a d6 for me, please? Sure. You are also going to become stunned one. Lovely. Uh, and with that... He is going to step towards you, Nikepso. Uh, we're going to see if he's able to remain hidden from you, though, with a stealth roll. Yeah, okay. Uh, if I do that, and I do that, perfect. Yeah, you can see the form kind of step towards you, Nikepso, right in front of you through the sandstorm, un entirely unaffected by the swirling sand. But that's going to bring us to your turn. You do only have two actions this turn. Yes. Does the sandstorm count as difficult terrain at all? Nope. Uh, the only spots of difficult terrain would be the stairs. Okay. The sandstorm itself is simply uh, providing penalties on perception checks, potentially making people start suffocating if they're within, and dealing damage to those who end their turn within it. Well, I mean, I have my spear. Still, yeah? So. You can just stand up and stab him if you want. Yeah, that'll be my first action. I don't think I'll dance, though. Okay, you're just going for the attack? Yeah. Sounds good. It was a d6 of damage if you stay here? Yes, d6 if you remain within the sandstorm. So what square do I think he's in? You know he's right in front of you, but you can't oh, okay. quite see. So since he's hidden, it's a DC 11 flat check to successfully target him. All right. And you are technically off guard to him. Okay. Uh, but look at that. That is a hit and a successful target. Very nice. <laughs> So you lunge forward with your spear and you feel flesh cave underneath the blade. Fresh blood pouring out of the wound and being carried on the sand flying around you. We've been lied to. Shay, get out of here. And then I'll... Yeah, I'll just stab him again. Screw it. Why not? <laughs> I'll do a DPS race. Okay. That is unfortunately no dice on every possible yep. front. 
That's my turn. Because I'm All right. As your turn ends, you're going to take four points of slashing damage for remaining in the sandstorm. And Shay, that brings us to you. You can't tell me to leave and then you stay. You're going to die in here. Um, can I recall knowledge to figure out if I can figure out what this thing might be? Sure, absolutely. You think about it now, Shay. The ability to cause a sandstorm quite good at deceiving people. That large blue eye surrounded by teeth. You know what divs are. A type of fiend that you typically seek to thwart and ruin the schemes and works of mortal beings. Once genies, but lost to the passage of eons. What started as collaboration with mortals, morphing into the abuse and disrespect of them causing them to rebel, falling under the thrall of a new deity that gave them the power to become what they are now. This sort of div, with that bright blue eye, specifically known as an agash, walking embodiments of curses and misfortune, That is what you are dealing with. Some sort of unholy fiend. All right. Beautiful. Uh, so we have to get out of the storm, then we can do the rest. And uh, um, they are hidden, huh? but I will show their artwork to everyone at this point. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's I love it. So horrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I was going to run, now I just want to go closer. <laughs> hey, you might have something in common with them. Oh no. All those curses. Yeah. Oh um, wait, I'm sorry, you're a witch, not an oracle. You still deal in curses. I was I was one one second away from being an oracle instead. <laughs> uh, who were, knows, maybe that's my backup. You were one bad curse away from an oracle. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, Shay's going to use the second and only second action uh, to, I guess, step out of the sandstorm Absolutely. while Young's in the Kepso to do the same. Yeah. Uh, so it's 10, and then, so this would be 20 feet to get here. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to hang out right here because that is prob. I, I won't be close enough to help the Kepso. Can I see through the sand? Can I see the Kepso through the sandstorm or no? Uh, looking at the precise. Wording, yeah, you only take a penalty to your perception if you are within the sandstorm, and the sandstorm does not provide any form of concealment okay, perfect. to the creatures within. So you can, outside of the sandstorm, you can see through it just fine. It's almost partially illusory. You can see okay. the sand being whipped around, but it's half transparent. You can see through it without issue. Real, that's going to bring us to you. All right. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to swap my sword for an Elk's Cather of Life and use it. Okay. Nice. Awesome. One. Uh, I'll use my second action to draw the second one and my third action to use it as well. Uh, well, uh, if, you, if you swapped, that would be one action. Drink second action, and then you could draw the third one as your third action. Oh, okay. You would not have the, uh, the action to. I, I don't have the action again. yet. Okay. So Unless I will. If you were to say that you already had, I would say if you would like, if you wanted to have, like, your sword and a potion out instead of your sword and shield, then you could do this. Uh, you just be shieldless at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to be shieldless anyway, so yeah. Sure. That 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 would be great. Thank you. And you can still draw it, the shield with one more action, just like normal. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll draw it 
next time. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Tim's turn. Tim, stay back, you Tim moron. Tim is going to step forward and uh, draw his bow. Okay. Way to go, and Tim. do nothing because he doesn't have a good shot. You see her, you're up. <laughs> Imagine if he shot one of you in the back right now. <laughs> I know, I know. I thought I about actually, it. It would be hilarious. Oh, I would take time out to go chop his head off, but then I... <laughs> what happens, happens. It's, it's, right. I knew this was a possibility. I, he's on the fence at the moment. He has his bow out. He doesn't know who he's going to shoot. Well, I see that he's hurt now. So... So, two action heal. On the Kepso. Sure. Very nice. And back to full on that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Very nice. And I'm not stunned no more. Well, that is for my turn. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. Now, Yasir, you would not have been able to quite make it on the steps, I don't think, uh, because the steps are difficult terrain, so they take five more feet to move into that space. I may have the uh, step into difficult terrain thing already. I think that just lets you take a step action into difficult terrain. I don't believe it lets you ignore difficult terrain during a stride action. Sure. That is going to bring us back to Mr. Man here. Oh, man. It's funny, because half his stuff isn't the most good in combat, but he can do some real funny things. Uh, he's going to start by slashing at you, Nikepso, though. Since he is hidden to you, you will be off guard to this strike. This will reveal him, though, right? Yes, it will. Unless he has an ability that makes him not be revealed. Just barely missing the crit. Uh, but he's going to deal 14 points of damage mixed between slashing and spirit as he rips not just at your physical form, but you feel a tiny piece of your soul ripped away as well. And that will cause him to lose concealment. And he's going to use his last two actions to cast a spell. Using that bit of your soul that he just ripped away, he is going to start playing with it. Treating it as if it's a malleable piece of clay before shoving it back into you. And I need a will save, please. Charmed life. Um, charmed life. Sure. I think this will save here. This is not a disease or a poison. Nope. 22? That is a success like because of charmed life. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Nice. <laughs> There is still an effect when you succeed. Okay. But you'll find that out later. Okay. That brings us to your turn. Don't divs, like, hate the most charismatic person or something? Perhaps. So he just got lucky that I was the one who decided <laughs> to use. Uh, Above table, a gash divs specifically like this one have a hatred of the most beautiful thing they can see. Well, I'm going to dance. Okay. I need you to roll this performance check as a misfortune effect, please. Okay. Uh, you should have a Is little a keep lower button. That? Oh, yeah. Keep lower. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. All right, then. Nice. 
Told you I'm the best dancer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that is a success. That'll get you a panache. As all of you watching Nikepso in the midst of the sandstorm dancing slightly, something about the way he moves right now, I don't know, just irks you a little bit. Like... Why is he so good at that? That's not okay. <laughs> Hacks, you're hacking. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a finisher. Go for it. So we'll strike him. Okay. Very nice. Damage. Oh, big money. Yeah. That's still pretty solid. All right, and then... I mean, it's just... D6. <laughs> it's just a D6. Surely it's not that bad. He doesn't seem to want to attack with his claw all the time. I will five foot step away from him, so he has to move up to me. Sure. And that's it. That's my turn. All right. Uh, in case you are not aware of it at this point, just so we can all remember, you have been affected by an outcast's curse. So uh, your presence at the moment is considerably more abrasive and off-putting than normal, and... Uh, any deception, diplomacy, intimidation, or performance checks are made as misfortune effects right now. Any creature you encounter has an initial attitude of one step worse. Okay. Thankfully, because of Charmed Life, this is not permanent. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this will only last for ten minutes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully can only do that one time. Curse spells are kind of, they're hilarious and that their effects aren't, like, damaging in the moment, but a failed save against them is typically permanent. And that's just rude. Yes. I'm curious, why is the, um, the performance check a button where the other ones aren't? In... Or, like, on the effect on me? Like, if I hover over it? Oh, I don't know. That is weird. It's actually a really good question. Either way. You learn something new every day, Foundry be whack. Uh, <laughs> at the end of your turn, Nikepso. Yep, D6. Yes, you will take two points of slashing damage. And that'll bring us to Shay's turn. <sighs> uh, oh boy, uh, Shay's not getting in that sandstorm again. Shay's going to be go sure? ahead and stare no i think i'll pass uh i think i'm happy where i'm at i'm just gonna stare at this guy um <laughs> with uh with concentration a low bit of jealousy um and then let me evil eye him sure absolutely he will succeed not that unfortunately um, sure will uh and then with my other two actions <laughs> what do I do? Uh, oh boy. Uh, with my other two actions, I think I'm going to see... He's doing Earth. Fire is probably fine, right? Um, that's a will save. I feel like he's good at this. I mean... Yeah... No. He has a plus 14 to hit. <laughs> he does have a plus 14 <laughs> to hit. Oh my god. <laughs> and I literally can't... Oh, he man, this guy can hurt me so you. easily. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start using some biting words at this guy. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna look and be like, your eye's stupid. It's it's like a blue shade that it's, it doesn't, you're making a sandstorm. It should be brown. What's wrong with you? Come on. And I'll <laughs> use biting words. <laughs> go for it. Nice. That's a hit. <laughs> Nice! Right in the feels. 
He splutters a little bit. It has to be blue in order to stand out. It looks stupid. Everyone has blue eyes. You make the sound laughing around him. Reels a little bit as the sandstorm starts laughing at him. And Fantastic. you're ugly. Oh, well, that's that's just mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to uh, force him to move more. All right, uh, that's all I got. Real, that'll bring us to you. So I will draw my Kopesh okay. and, sudden, and Sudden Charge. Sure. So when you... Oh, that was a cool animation. When you enter the sandstorm, I do need a fortitude save, please. Got it. To uh, they just they just added that animation. Yeah, so, uh, that is a success. Oh, you do sorry, not I didn't. Your breath. I did no not see the button. I apologize. There's always um, a button. Exactly there's always a button. All right, then then we'll strike. Sure. Oh, that's a hit. He may be decent, but his AC is not the best, unfortunately. And that's three for me. All right, at the end of your turn, since you are now in the sandstorm as well, that is going to be four points of slashing damage dealt to you, Rialt. Got it. Thank you. Tim! Tim is going to move up here for a better shot and still not shoot his bow. You see I believe up. in you, Tim! <laughs> You're looking real <laughs> injured, Shay. <laughs> I really am. Oh. For Tim with the bow, you are a, a juicy target at the moment. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, use a three action heal from there, Yasir. That's a good idea. if you port a little too far away. Shame. Oh, is it actually my turn? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Who's getting the heal? It's gonna be real. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, that's tempting. I heard it's, it's tempting. Not tempting. <laughs> you yeah, heard I like nothing. <laughs> I heard it's tempting. Man. I really did. You heard fuck all. Yeah. Oh gosh. Wow. Oh my Thank gosh. You. We Dude, love level heal. Three, level three clerics go crazy, man. They just, yeah. I am so one point better. down. Thank you so much. There's Four so times much a day. Level one or two. Yeah. Plus 16 on that roll is just crazy. All right. Mm -hmm. That's going to bring us back to Sharga Katoon. Oh, I have to make an interesting choice here. How confident is he that he can survive another round is the big question. Fine. Cast a spell. Go ahead. Cast a spell. <laughs> Cast a spell. Oh, that is Come a on. good point. <laughs> I'm going to roll a die here for him real quick. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, we let the dice dictate things. He's going to turn his cursed gaze on you, Rialt. Oh, uh, okay. Which does not trigger a reactive strike at all. It okay. is just a will save I need from you. Got it. Hey, and I used the box. Look at that. I'm so proud of you. Hey, look at that. Oh my god, you already have fucking bravery. I guess fighters do get bravery at third rank. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a fear effect, so yikes. Uh, he is going to use his last action to step five feet away. Sneaky don't pull any caps, so. <laughs> Come into my sandstorm, why don't you? Okay. Uh, Nikepso, that brings us to you. 
Okay. Uh, I will... A dance. Okay. So we gotta take the... Misfortune again, right? Yeah, keep lower, please. Should I just do acrobatics? Is it effective? Hmm. I should probably just tumble. You can just tumble through if you want. Okay, I... Yeah, I'll try to tumble through him to this square. Sure. So, targeted, tumble through... Does tumble through effective armor check penalty? Are you suffering from your armor check penalty? You shouldn't be. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. It's just yeah. turned off on the. Yeah, it should be turned off because you meet the strength requirement of leather armor. That is a failure, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll hero point it. Sure. There we go. Much better. Alright, so I'm there. Um, and you've got your panache. The panache. It's only one action so far. Mm hmm. That is AC is bad. It's not the greatest. He was really hoping to knock someone out with that transfer of knowledge. <laughs> it was pretty good. All right, I'm going to stab him. I'm not going to use a finisher. Sure. If I crit him, I'll feel very sad about not using it, but... Just a regular hit. Okay, damage. Max damage, alright. Very Nine nice. points of damage, and then, um... I will, with my last attack, finish her. Go for it. Come on. Natural 20. Please, no. No okay. dice, unfortunately. Still, I think Rialt goes before him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, at the end of your turn, you're going to take three points of slashing damage in a cap, so. Shay, it is your turn. I do just want to say, for the record, though, Rialt, if you step here, you will be flanking him. However, he will have lesser cover because of the statue, just as an FYI. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, but Shay, you're up. All right. I thought I was muted. I was not. Uh, Shay is going to. Ugh. Shay needs <laughs> to step in the sandstorm because he moved too far away. Ha ha. Uh, Shay made him. All right. Uh, do I have to make a save again after stepping yes. out of him back in? Yeah, because this is to see bad. if you can actually. Uh, now that you're coming back in, to see if you're going to be forced to hold your breath again. I need to be able to talk. Okay, I need to save this. I can do this. That's why you save the hero point. That is, in fact, why I saved the hero point. But you all save right. nonetheless, and that's all that matters. Perfect. All right. I'm going to step on in, take a look at that guy. That was one action. Uh, for my second action, um, once again, make sure I have to, do I have to stay. No, just uh, one minute. All right. Uh, for my second action, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give a little uh, eye, like an eye raise as an evil eye again, hopefully. Sure. Eventually, eventually it's gotta work. It'll work one day. Someday. Uh, and it'll just barely work on this guy. Wow. Nice. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wonderful. If this guy can be sickens. Yeah, absolutely he can. Oh man, I wanna see this guy vomit out of his eye. <laughs> he will not let you witness him vomit around his eye. <laughs> that disgusting. <laughs> it really is, I'm sorry for the imagery. <laughs> Um, Shay will walk in, will stare towards this thing's eyes, um, as Shay starts weaving the, uh, second spell, or weaving that spell, and then, uh, we'll kind of look and just be like, it, it just, it doesn't make sense to have teeth by your eye, like, it makes sense why your eyes are, like, bloodshot and dull and miscolored, but, I mean, if you like it, I guess it's okay. I'm just gonna use my second, uh, biting attack. Yeah, go my for second it. Second biting words. That, unfortunately, 
Oh, it's going to hit some hero points. Oh, I'll all need, right. I don't need hero points. I hope. Okay. Well, at least that there you go. makes me feel better. All right. And then... Nine more sonic damage. Yikes. He is taking a pounding. Crazy. Right. And, uh, Shay, you are unfortunately back in the sandstorm. There's a reason why I was... All right. Well, that's good. I've, I've got health. Yeah. It's possible you go down if you're still in the sandstorm at the end of your next turn. Tim, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> All right, Rialt. <laughs> so if I take a five foot step here, basically it, it cancels out. He has lesser cover. And I'm lesser cover is only flanking. plus one to AC. Flanking will be a minus two. So you're still going to ah, net okay. positive. Sick, sick it, it, and, and it gives the cup to flanking if I completely flub. Yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and put the cover on him. So I will step, take a five foot step up, uh, and I'm going to go for a vicious, vicious swing. Oh, please no. Oh, I was oh, hoping not oh, to hear okay. that sound. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Did the flank get it there? No, you, you super crit. Uh, <laughs> that is not quite enough to kill, though. Okay. He is going to remain standing, but he is on death's door from that. Come on, Tim! Go, I'll, Tim let you, I'll let you steal the kill, Tim! Level 22, here we come. Go ahead, Tim, shoot me, I dare you. You'll live. <laughs> Tim is going to take a well, single... We'll hit oh, sorry, Rialt, at the end of your that. turn... You will oh take yeah, that sandstorm damage. Yeah. Gotta get my damage out somehow. Nope, that's good. Hey, right. six damage. Oof. My dog. I could knock out Shay with that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Too much joy. Tim is going to take a single <laughs> shot with his bow. Okay. And I want you all to just be aware of how sad I'm going to be if Tim gets the kill, which is no. entirely possible here. I, I am going to be so happy about this. I will tell you this. Tim has an exact 50% chance of hitting right now. He needs an 11 on the dice. Okay, okay. Go, Tim, go. He hits. Yay! <laughs> See? Tim, you're freaking awesome. He has a, a two and three chance of killing here. Please roll low, please roll low. No! <laughs> Yeah. How would you all like Tim to do this? <laughs> right in the middle of his big, stupid blue eye. Oh. Pops like... <laughs> As he is uh, recoiling from your strike, uh, both Nikepso and Rialt, the two of you harrying him with powerful blows from his side, Shay, you come up and just focus your own eyes on him while insulting him. He turns in your direction and small streams of vomit just kind of spew outwards from between the eye and teeth for a moment as he stumbles back from you, blood sort of mixing in with the bile. As a single arrow comes flying out, Tim finally deciding who to stand with and who to shoot and the arrow pierces right through the center pupil and out the back of the div's head, who stands there still for a moment before collapsing to the ground dead. Yay! I am going to assume the rest of you will leave the sandstorm before the end of your next turn. Oh, so yes, So we'll please. go ahead and yes, just please. end initiative there. And yeah, yes, and we <sighs> yay for Tim, but really we yay for Yasir. We yay for Yasir. <laughs> uh, we would all be dead. Yeah, I want that you healing. Know, that role I gave the Div at the start of his last turn was to decide whether or not to translocate away. Oh. Because I wasn't sure if he would survive around or not. And I rolled oh. a die, and he rolled a natural one. Ah. <laughs> he was See? too greedy. He, he he knew he could do it, and uh, he suffered the consequence for it. There he goes. See, there's the benefit of going last. It's like going first in the next <laughs> round. <laughs> so, Thirty seconds or so will pass 
after he collapses to the ground before the sandstorm will finally dissipate the magic collapsing in on itself in the sand once more flying to the ground before settling. Incredible shot, Tim. Incredible. Uh, Thank you for the healing, Yasir. That was clutch. Of course. Hey, uh, uh, hey, you are terribly wounded. Yep. Uh, oh, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm fair. We're gonna have I'm to be here for like 12 hey. minutes to get our <laughs> tree wounds immunity. Yeah. Oh, right. You guys wanted to, to wait a little while and just start doing some healing, you're more than welcome to. Ooh, yep. My crystals. Yeah, go, go ahead. Oh, shades to need them. So. that waiting 10 minutes will make this yeah. well, don't get rid of yours yet Rialt hold up what are you oh. doing <laughs> oh, I thought you said get rid of him I, I apologize no oh, we're doing the time <laughs> thing so uh, okay. right now Nekepso is the only viable target by the time he is finished being healed Rialt you will become a viable target got it got it okay so I'll do first, then. okay Yasir is going to heal Nekepso Yasir succeeded oh my goodness Look at that. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's the one thing that I actually forgot. Oh. Oh, dangerous. Oh, did you mean I to am... stab him? <laughs> no, I'm I'm expert in medicine. That's that's what I increased ah. at three. I, I didn't do it last week. Gotcha. I forgot. Well, you do not have to do the higher DC. You can choose to. Oh, I don't. I don't have risky surgery yet. I know. I'm saying with the medicine check, you can, now that you're expert, I believe you can choose to do the higher DC if you want. Or is that just part of medic dedication? That might just be from the medic dedication. No, I, I, think I thought that was risky it's surgery. Op it's optional to take, though. I think. Unless I yeah, it's optional it. to take a higher uh, DC. Yes, it's always optional to take a higher DC. Medic dedication just increases what's healed at those higher DCs. Uh, risky surgery is you can deal damage to auto crit succeed if you succeed at the roll. But when you go to treat wounds, someone say if you target Rialt and uh, just pull up the treat wounds menu for a moment. Uh, which, I'm sorry, Shay, I realized between sessions I did not figure out a good way to get it working for you yet. That's okay, I can just do the little modifier thing you told me yeah. about last week. Uh, you should I'm see... You see, our aid, see the medicine DC, you can put it up to expert. And it gives... I'm not doing that. That's fair. It's basically, since you're expert, you can do DC 20. And if you succeed, it heals an additional flat 10 on top of whatever you roll. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, did I just kill real? Oh, no, there you are. <laughs> it's like, yeah. did I get rid of your token? No, I'm right here. All right. I think he was under uh, under my token yeah, for, a for a moment. Oh yeah. Is uh, Che now able to? Yep. By the time you finish uh, treating Rialt, Shay is able to be treated. I might do it on this one. I'm gonna do it on this one. <laughs> on the one who's more injured. <laughs> well, that's why because he's more injured. I, like, I believe in you. I like your chutzpah. This is a good idea. This won't backfire at all. Did it not roll? Uh, it did not roll. Let me pick my last words. There it is. That's an exact success. Ooh. Look at that. 15 wow. health back to you, Shay. Nice. All right. I am feeling so good now. <laughs> this city is really killing my trusting nature. Are they getting very good about patching each other up? Is this curse gone? Or... Uh, yes. After ten minutes, the curse vanishes. Could you'll, I have during like that time? <laughs> Could during yeah. that time I have been trying to identify the fountain? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and give me a recall knowledge roll. All right. To identify uh... it. Can I do our reading or whatever it was as yeah, well? Yeah, to get the plus, plus two, two from it. Doesn't matter. Yeah. You rolled in that twenty. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, you can tell there is a hint of divine magic permeating throughout the water. 
uh, such that it is blessed and will invoke a blessing for a brief period of time on whosoever drinks it. Now, the water itself cannot be removed from this room or it will become ordinary water, but you can drink from here about once a week and receive a blessing to bolster uh, your defenses, bolster a protective bubble around yourself for a brief period of time. It's entirely beneficial. Is it... When you say brief period of time, do you mean like um, like minutes, hours? So the blessing will last for an hour, and okay. you can choose to use a single action to actually activate the blessing, at which okay. point you will gain resistance two to all damage for, oh. did I say a minute or until the end of your next turn? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Until the beginning of your next turn, you will have resistance two to all damage. All right, I will look over your run. Uh, now, it you, you can't drink it too often. It doesn't work. Uh, you know, once a week maybe, but it does make you a little bit hardier. And uh, at, it, as long as it's in your system, so about an hour. Uh, oh, oh, he's already going for it. The capsule's just taking a sip. And hand, hand in the water, done to the mouth. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Uh, and the actual resistance effect is in that effect. So when you choose to activate it, you can drag that onto yourself to okay. gain the benefits. That sounds like a good idea for everyone. If everyone wants to yeah. drink from the waters, they're more than welcome to. Come on, Tim. Tim will drink from the water in celebration of his kill. Yay, Tim. You saved us, Tim. You're a hero. They're going to carry him back into town like a champion. Unless he dies. Yeah. <laughs> we can carry him back like a champion if he dies, too. I, I didn't think I had it in me. Um, yeah, we need to get your family info, Tim. Just, you know, so we. Why do you need that them. info? <laughs> that just sounds suspicious again. We, we come I, back to the tavern all somber. And they're like, what's wrong? Tim died. And we didn't know where to take him. <laughs> and I don't even have a family, remember? Oh, that's sad. Oh, I forgot about that part. I forgot about that. I'm so sorry, Tim. It's been Wait. like two hours. I thought we talked about your mother at one point. The fact that I don't know her. Oh, right. Oh, right, right, right. Right. I mean, to be Tim, fair, Tim. You must there, died. Right. There was a giant eyeball up there, Tim. I mean, yeah. okay, no excuse. You're right. You My bad. You have family now, Tim. Right. Tim. Oh, goodness. And then I give him a nookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at around this time both Yasir and Shay the two of you begin to experience a burning sensation sort of in the back of your mind it feels like almost like acid has been poured on the back of your scalp just there is this incessant burning that seems to be disrupting your thoughts You both become stupefied. What? Oh, it's an anti-magic. No. <laughs> okay. What's happening? What? What's happening to you both? I think. Is there something in the back of my head? I mean, Renan. Don't know. I don't see anything. I will perceive the area. Sure. Um, Can I cast draw moisture on myself? <laughs> uh, you can certainly try to. There is that flat check you have to make when you attempt to cast a spell. 
um, you're able to uh, to focus the spell. Are you just trying to draw the moisture out of your body, or draw what I drank out? Ah, interesting. I'm going to ask for a religion check here, that being your magic-related skill. Uh, by the way, any of you with focus points could have absolutely refocused during this healing time as well. You are all good to do so. Blind? Uh, no, this can be public. I am going to hero point that. Sure. You don't want to drown yourself. <laughs> You're taking relatively weak magic that is used typically for drying clothes or other objects and trying to remove liquid that you have already swallowed. It's a very precise operation for magic that isn't the most precise as of right now. You can... You do your best to focus, and it's definitely harder to focus with this sort of splitting pain. It's like your brain's on fire almost. Um... I'm going to say, realistically, you don't succeed in anything further than managing to draw some of the sweat out of and away from your body. Okay. It was worth a shot. Definitely. Loved the idea. What did that even look like? <laughs> This isn't good. Uh, I I feel like I can't form a thought. Uh, maybe if we leave the room? Do you think it's the, the drink? I'm sorry, I shouldn't suggest that. I'm fine. I, I'm not experiencing ill effects. Oh. Well, isn't that lovely? I, I'm sure it... I mean, it was a divine touch. I'm sure it won't be permanent, right? You said it was perfectly safe, Shay. I, I thought it was. Leave me alone. <laughs> I think you were right. Didn't you roll a natural twenty? <laughs> <laughs> is your nose bleeding? I, I feel like I see some blood trickling down your nose. <laughs> but yes, I was very confident. I feel like maybe, maybe I was deceived, or like some sort of force was not giving me the complete picture and now i'm suffering the effects of uh of not knowing everything are you claiming that oh. i the gm <laughs> would lie to you <laughs> never <laughs> i don't think you'd lie i think you would uh hold information based on skill skill results well then you're wrong because i would absolutely at, lie to you look how at dare Tim you Tim's i trust <laughs> you yes but Tim, Tim can't do magic. I didn't say Maybe I was lying magic to thing. you right now. Just that I now would I lie to you. Well, now I don't know if you're lying to me right now either. Can Sucks. I try to recall some knowledge to see if perhaps sure. after Assume I didn't explaining see the water that, that it might be causing it? Uh, you absolutely may. Yes, or Nikepso, uh, with your perception check, you see nothing around here. The there's the corpse of the div up by the statue. There's two small openings into side rooms, and there's a large set of double doors, but you don't see anything else that looks like it could be having any sort of effect, much less a sort of targeted effect, uh, especially on the spellcasters of the party. Um, I, don't, I don't see why Nethys would choose to curse spellcasters. Yeah. Oh no, the game's been paused. Yes. What do I do? Uh, just oh. to prevent people from going into the next room while I describe some things. <laughs> uh, 
Yasir, there's nothing about the pool that seems to have any meaningful effect here. Um, I mean, it's certainly possible that it would, uh, you know, stupefy those who can cast magic. I mean, Nethys is the god of both the good magic can do as well as the evil if it's if it's something focused on protecting those i suppose it could come at a price to those who can cast spells as well it feels a little odd that it would be able to specifically target those who have magical abilities only and wouldn't just have this sort of effect on anyone who consumes it. You honestly can't say if it's the water or something else causing this effect. But you would not be surprised to find that it is the water. Okay. Now I want to describe the other two rooms that you guys could see. First, to the east, since that is the one you guys are currently leaning towards, a much more open room with an immense tiled pool going about two feet deep, but is currently empty, lying beneath a, a vaulted ceiling covered with images of celestial beings. Um, there are four columns carved beyond the pool at the northeastern end of the room, each seemingly carved to represent one of the four primary primal elements. Uh, this would have been, of course, crafted before the wood and elemental planes were really agreed upon uh, by historians and magicians around the world. So uh, it's mostly earth, air, water, and fire that it is focused on. Uh, to the west, you guys haven't really looked over there, but any of you who took a brief glance uh, when you guys were resting and healing would have noticed what appeared to be a library of some sort. Rows of stone shelves filling a pretty crowded room, uh, most of it looking like it had disintegrated over time, but a few volumes looking like they've potentially endured. Uh, you also notice what appeared to be a large number of scroll tubes littering the floor amidst the dusty remains of ruined paper and papyrus, uh, with a single door in the far western wall of that room. Hmm. Hey. I think Shay just trying to get out of this room for a second to see if maybe that helps. Entirely. Uh, so she's kind of clutching his uh, head and walking over here and just leans, hoping that maybe it's a statue thing. Yeah. As you step into this room, sort of walking along the edge of this shallow pool, hoping your mind will clear and the pain will fade away. But no such thing happens. Yep. Yep, I was wrong. This sucks. And that, my friends, is where we're going to end the session for today. Awesome. Woo. Thank you guys so much for showing up and playing. I do so hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next week. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, yes, thanks, everyone. That was a good one. A lot of fun. And go, Tim. Go, go Tim. Tim. <laughs>